What's up you guys welcome to XJ Justice channel so today we're finna continue with me showing you guys how I upgraded the audio system on my XGR6 which is very similar to an X300 but a real quick disclaimer you guys I am not an audio professional but I'm very happy with my work and I'm satisfied with the audio quality and I've been having this set up for over a year and that's why I'm deciding to show you guys how it's done so let's get started by removing the stereo Open the center console and remove four Phillips screws. Unplug the cigarette lighter connectors from the ashtray. Remove the wood veneer knobs from underneath. Remove this plastic trim. Push in the sides of the shift trim to unclip it from the wood veneer. Unclip the shift knob cover. Be very careful the side clips can easily break. Set the emergency brake. Insert the keys inside the ignition and turn it to the accessory on position engine off. Shift the gear to neutral and remove the wood veneer. Turn the ignition off and disconnect the battery terminal. The battery is located inside of the trunk. Remove the Phillips screws all around. This is the main stereo socket. You'll cut the wires from here and connect them to the aftermarket wiring harness. The green and black wire powers the antenna. Connect to the blue wire. The brown and gray is a 12 volt constant battery power. It's the bottom wire on the main wiring socket. Connect to the yellow wire. Green and orange is the ignition switch. Connect to the red. The black is negative ground. Connect with black. And the rest of these are the speaker wires. So normally the interior door speaker wires on the XJ6 and X300 are located right behind the head unit, the stereo, the radio. But on the XJR6, they're located underneath the rear seat. So you have to remove the back seat and you could watch the previous video uh, to reference on how to remove it. I'm not finna include it on this video. I already done it multiple times on different videos. But uh, the color for the speakers are exactly the same. So let's get to it. Remove the retainer clips. The left driver's side, gray and red is positive, gray and purple is negative. Right passenger side, gray and orange is positive, gray and pink is negative. Rear left side, pink and purple is positive, black and gray is negative. Rear right passenger, pink and green is positive, black and white is negative. Both rear speakers are bridged together and connected to one side speaker wire because the aftermarket stereo only has wiring for four speakers and I wanted to connect the 6x9. Alright you guys, so now let me show you how to install the subwoofer. Connect the subwoofer to the amp. 
positive to the far left and negative to the far right. Hook up the power wire to the 12 volt input. I'm using a 4 gauge wire. Run the wire to the fuse holder between the battery and the amp to protect the electrical components from being damaged. Then connect the wire to the battery. I'm using the side post on the Octima battery. You can wire the ground cable to the chassis or directly to the battery. The remote power wire goes to the head unit. It sends power to the amp when the key is in the on position. The remote wire is usually identified by the color blue. The RCA connects to the head unit. It sends audio signal to the amp. The RCA in the remote wire will have to be routed from the trunk to the head unit. Make a hole in this rubber grommet to run the 6x9 and the subwoofer speaker wires through it. Remove the rear air vent by pushing down on these top clips. Remove the Phillip head screw. Then route the wires underneath the carpet through the center console. It's difficult, but it can get done. Alright, if you guys found this video helpful, please select that like button. And if you personally want to support this channel, there is a donation link in the video description. Or you can purchase a super thanks. All donations will be used for drugs and alcohol and strippers. <laughs> they will all be used for uh, more parts and video equipment and tools to make more videos for you guys. And of course, you're not obligated to donate. But I would appreciate it because these car parts are not cheap and these videos take hella long for me to make. Real quick, thanks to everybody that has donated. Thank you guys. Here's a real quick kiss. Um, no homo, pause, bro. And yeah, so let's uh listen to the Jag slap.